Phil Jakes and Kane Williamson put on an unbroken partnership of 257 as their Yorkshire side fought back magnificently after following on on the penultimate day of their top of the table LV County Championship clash with Durham in Scarborough. Yorkshire began the third morning on 182 for three in their first innings, needing a further 242 runs to avoid the follow-on, but that looked as if it was easily going to be reached as Johnny Bairstow and Williamson took their stand to three figures, with Bairstow completing his 50, having started the day on 42. Williamson had moved from 76 to 90 when his wicket, LBW to a Ben Stokes Yorker, precipitated a collapse. Yorkshire was certainly not helped when they lost the in-form Gary Balance next ball. He clipped a Stokes full toss through mid-wicket, but stuttered just a fraction before coming back for his second run and was just beaten back by Chris Rushworth's perfect throw from the deep. Adol Rashid then edged Jamie Harrison behind to Phil Mustard to go for a single at 219 for six. And it was 253 for seven when Bairstow on 82 was well held off his own bowling by Scott Borthwick, a huge moment for the visitors. Next over, Liam Plunkett got a tickle off Mark Wood through to Mustard. And the ball after that, Stephen Patterson was cleaned up by Wood for a golden duck. Ryan Sidebottom and Jack Brooks stuck it out for half an hour, but by lunch the home side were all out as Sidebottom edged Stokes behind. Yorkshire had lost their last seven wickets for 63 runs to be dismissed for 274. They were asked to follow on 299 runs behind and a big defeat looked on the cards when Adam Lythe was trapped in front by Rushworth with just 19 runs on the board second time out. The way it was going, a three-day win for Durham looked possible, but then Jakes went on the attack. This pull off the top edge flying over the ropes. Jakes had survived a confident appeal for LBW off Stokes on 28, but for the rest of the afternoon he played brilliantly. Stokes provided a sustained spell of short pitch bowling to the left-hander, who had few problems in pulling the ball to the boundary. Although on one occasion another edge did just fly over the top of Mustard behind the stumps. Jakes reached his 50 off 72 balls, getting to it with his 7th 4 to go with his 1 maximum. He'd been dominating the scoring at this stage and continued to do so for a while with some blazing cricket shots. Borthwick would have been hopeful of making the most of a wearing pitch, but he didn't always put the ball in the right areas and when he overpitched or dropped in too short, the Australian, whose dad, later tweeted about by coach Jason Gillespie, was born in Sheffield, took full advantage as he moved with very few problems through the numbers. Williamson, who later achieved a rather rare feat of being involved in a 100 partnership and a double 100 stand in different innings on the same day, also showed his class as Paul Collingwood must have started to think whether he was right to enforce a follow-on. He was not helped by a side strain to Wood, who was unable to bowl in the second innings. The Kiwi Test star reached his second 50 of the match with a wonderful straight drive off Harrison in an over in which only four balls were delivered two no-balls not being re-bowled. Williamson had needed 112 deliveries for his half-century. Martin Bodnam, the umpire, also let a seven-ball over be delivered. Jakes played a match-changing innings. This pull six off Rushworth took him into the 90s. And his brilliant 100, the 42nd of his first-class career, arrived off his 132nd ball with another pull off Rushworth, which brought him his 14th four to go with his pair of sixes. His reaction tells you just how important this superb knock was to his team, and he hadn't finished yet either. He did almost fall soon afterwards, watched the fielder come from nowhere to nearly take a remarkable catch. But as the evening wore on, this match was beginning to change, with Yorkshire becoming the dominant side. Williamson may have missed out on a maiden ton for the county in the morning, but he looked in a determined mood to get there this time out, as his partnership with Jakes moved well beyond 200. Yorkshire made it clear at the end of the day that they'd not given up hope of winning this match. Now that would be a remarkable achievement. Before stumps were drawn, Jakes moved to his 150, which had occupied only 190 deliveries. From those, he'd struck 23 fours and two sixes, as his partnership with Williamson moved to 257, and that has been made in only 60 overs together. 
Jakes will go again on the final morning on 151, while Williamson needs 10 to get to his 100. They've carried their side to 276 for one, made at four and a quarter runs per over, and so they now trail by only 23 runs. And there is talk of setting a target for Durham on the last afternoon. We'll wait and see about that.